the book of Luke chapter 7 talks about Jesus sharing a parable with the people over there in the crowd. Jesus talks about the sower. He in fact narrates a whole parable and then the disciples go with him and in the private they ask him what is the meaning of this parable? And Jesus starts off with the explanation and you find this in verse 11. He says, "Now the meaning of the parable is this. The seed is the word of God." I wondered, why did the Lord equate the word of God with the seed? What is so significant about the seed? Because the word of God quite obviously is significant. It is the word of God. It is not man's word. It is the word of God. And he equates Jesus himself equates it to the seed. What's so great about the seed that you need to equate it with the word of God? So I kind of studied the seed and I looked into the dictionary. And what I noticed was that the seed is basically hiding within itself the embryonic plant. It hides within itself the plant in the baby form. So when the seed sprouts, it brings forth the plant which grows in the right environment to bring forth fruit. And Jesus said that the word of God is a seed. So what do we draw out of this? What does the word of God hide within itself? Is the question. Because if we begin to understand, if you are able to figure this out and find out what is hidden in that word of God, I think a lot of our challenges will be sorted out. I believe that the word of God hides within itself the power, the power to release the meaning that the speaker wants to convey the power to make the manifestation come through in the situation that we are in for example if there is a sick person and he needs his healing and the word of god says by my stripes you are healed what happens this is what happens the power that is hidden in the seed that is the word of god is released into the environment it hides within itself the manifestation of the healing it hides within itself the health that jesus wants you to enjoy so the moment the moment you put the seed that is the word of god into the situation of sickness and allow it give it space give it enough space to grow enough space to prosper very soon what what are you going to see you're going to see the prosperity of the word happening you will see health flowing into your life you will see sickness being taken out and health replacing it i remember a situation and i'm going to talk to you about it there was this meeting where i was attending it was a meeting for the housewives for women and i told them that the lord has blessed our kitchen and our storehouse that you will find even in Deuteronomy chapter 28 where the lord says that i will bless your storehouse and so i shared this with the women i'm sure the women loved it and there was this dear lady who went home and who kept saying that the lord has blessed my storehouse the lord has blessed my storehouse now let me tell you what she did if i remember right she went to the refrigerator she placed her hand upon the refrigerator and she said this is my storehouse where i store a lot of my food and the lord says it is blessed and therefore i am going to speak this word the my storehouse is blessed upon the fridge and she put her hand upon the fridge and she left she believed that the word of god is seed she released the seed After having said that word she went out for an evening walk and as she was walking she received a call from her husband and her husband called her and told her come home quick and she went back home very quickly and he said go to the fridge Now what happens is that in India over here 
we make batter and we store it for the next few days to be used for dosas and idlis which you would call pancakes and so what she did was she had she had kept some dough into the fridge and what she did was she placed her hand upon the fridge and she said that my storehouse is blessed now when she came home what did she find the batter was overflowing now no batter will overflow in cold environment in a cold in a cold situation but the batter overflowed she never realized it was because of the word that she released upon the fridge she took the container out she poured half of it into another container so now there were two containers of batter and she placed them back in the fridge and again she kept saying my, my storehouse is blessed the next day morning the two became four that was when she realized the power that is existent in the word of god the moment you are in a situation of lack or want may i encourage you may i encourage you release the word of god into that situation and you will see that the power that is hidden in the word of god becomes manifested and what you desire will be experienced by you try it out i'm throwing a challenge to you my dear friends try out the word of god release the word of god into the situation of want and you will find the manifestation that you're looking for Hi, I'm Rosie Williams here and uh, I really want to thank you for having watched our motivational videos and we intend to put this on every week for you and let me encourage you to listen in and be encouraged and keep growing in the Lord because this is what God wants all of us to do all of you out there to do to listen to grow and to bring glory to God God bless you